What is up guys, Greg Sewers here from Edmonton Impact, owner of MAP Training, and alongside Dr. Colton King from MoveWise Chiropractic, and this is all about three moves to make you faster. Now we all know if you want to accomplish anything, it's all going to start with mobility, right? So one way that you can test your dorsiflexion, that is, your ability for your knee to get over your toes, which is what makes us fast, right? Because we don't actually accelerate from putting our foot against the ground, we accelerate from extending our foot, getting our knee over the foot, and driving the earth down and behind us, right? That's why you see the fastest sprinters, their heels never touch the ground. So one way you can test if you need help with this dorsiflexion is the fist of foot. So Colton's going to place his fist between his toe and the box, you can use a wall, and he's gonna to try to drive his knee over his foot without lifting his heel off the ground. So you can see on this leg, he's a little bit short of the box, that means a little extra tension. Try your other side. Everyone's gonna have a little bit of an imbalance, one more side than the other. That's just how you favor. Because you can see on his left leg, his knee touches the box and no problem. So, we're gonna work on two different stretches that are gonna get two different sets of muscles in the calf, which is why you typically lack that flexion. So I'm gonna hand him this stick mobility. Again, you can use a wall, a box, a chair, whatever you have available to you. But what we're gonna do first is the soleus muscles. These are the outside calf muscles here along the lower part of the leg. He's gonna take his right foot on the ground, wrap his left foot on the back of his calf, and then he's gonna bend his right knee. Now you can see, heel stays on the ground, and he's stretching these soleus muscles right here. Keep yourself nice and upright. Again, straight body, heels pressed into the ground, and you're gonna feel this stretch. If you struggle with this flexion, this is what's preventing you from having the ability to move faster. Try it on the other side. Boom. And you can even see he's able to get a little bit lower on that side because his left leg was more flexible and had more dorsiflexion. Heel stays on the ground, soleus gets nice and stretched. Now the other set, the gastroc muscles in the upper part of the calf, the way you, you stretch these is by extending your leg. So he's going to use a stick mobility stick, he's going to kick his right leg back, and he's going to press that heel back towards the ground. And again, big stretch. What's that? Big stretch. Big stretch. So he stays upright, nice and back. Foot is behind the body, and now he's stretching this area of his calf right here as he presses that heel on the ground. Do it on both sides, and you're going to prepare yourself for the next two moves coming up. All right, next up is the agility portion of getting faster. Now that you're mobile, you have to work on your actual reaction time, how fast you can get your foot from the ground back up into a cocked position to drive the next step. So what we're going to do for that is a wall climb. I'm going to have Colton get his arms fully extended like he's playing against the wall. He's going to drive his hip up, and again, Driving the hip up allows us to extend the leg and accelerate more than if our knee is below our hip. So now he's gonna bring his bottom foot, that heel's gonna come off the ground because like we said, all great sprinters, your heel doesn't touch the ground. Use the muscles of your leg to push off the ball of your foot and accelerate from there. And his job is to step as fast as he can, get as many steps as he can in five seconds and that's gonna be one set. Ready? Yeah, buddy. Go! Stop! So now you can see, he was really consistent in the steps. He's driving his hips up all the time. He's keeping his core nice and stiff. I can poke at him, nothing's gonna happen. And that heel never touched the ground. His agility's on point for the strength training. Okay. All right, this is our third step. The most fun part about the training, the strength and power section of getting faster. So what we're gonna do here is a goblet seated squat. What we're gonna do is make it explosive so that it is working on building fast twitch muscle fibers. And we're gonna make it a little more advanced because we're gonna control the motion. We're not gonna let Colton just fall into position because nobody likes to fall. They like to dive, they like to have control, right? So I'm gonna have him standing facing away from the box. He's gonna hold the kettlebell at his chest because a goblet squat starts with the weight in front of you at the chest. And now you can see his body is in a nice straight line, right? One thing we talk about is the hips getting kicked out of position in paintball because we hyperextend so much. So make sure you're nice and in line, flex those hips forward. Now he's going to sit down nice and slowly. We're going to work on the eccentric portion, the part where he elongates those muscles in the front of the leg. And now to make it really hard and make it explosive, I'm going to have him pick up his feet and then stomp back up into position. So you can see it takes a lot of recovery, a lot of force, a lot of power to get him up off the seat like that because we're making him create ground force from his feet. So he's going to recover, always keeping his knees bent, and his job is to do this as explosively as possible with a nice slow control on the way down to make him faster, keep him from getting shot. 